Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank. Today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and get this a new run started. I'm going to go with Lost Totems, and hopefully we'll have better luck than the last couple of runs. So challenging. Alright, got our classic starter set, so let's hop in. Oh, straight to the Pelt Trader. Okay. Let's see, what could we get? Um, let's see, many lies with a cat, so um not sure what that would really get us other than maybe a defense or something. Um, wild bull with only two blood. It's kinda like a wolf, but it also burrows, so that's kinda nice. So how about we do let's see, I don't know if fecundity is real nice to be great, but how about we do a wild bull and a grizzly just to have a little bit of a range of power. And let's see if we have anything to sigil swap yet. It doesn't look like it, so let's do a power up. Alright, plus two on health. Who would make sense? Could get the stoic going to make it more viable. Um, or we could have a really tough wolf. Um, I think I might go with tough wolf. And we'll try to boost it up to six just to uh, see how. Uh, okay. That was maybe a misplay. Um, in fact, let's just go ahead and restart. <laughs> that was bad enough that I think that might take me out. I got greedy, and I think that I will um, try to be a little bit more reserved. So, I don't know why I got so excited. I'm like, surely I won't die, and then I died. So. Ah, interesting. Give me a possum instead of a... Uh, Two pelt situation. I wonder if it was because I stopped and restarted so quickly or something. Alright, possum with two bones, and I don't know if I want to try an ant run again. So maybe I'll go for. Oh, we do have a wolf cub opportunity. Um, maybe. Do mantis. I'm trying to focus on just getting a lot of damage on the board. Alright. Should we go to the woodcarver? Um, feeling like maybe it'd be a good idea to work on that sooner rather than later since we're going to have boss totem fights. Uh, let's see, dam builder. Could have that. Um, and we could get a wolf head or a pronghorn head. I think we'll go with wolf head. I think it's more likely that we'll have the helm than just about anything else. The deer just don't seem super um, common, at least not in my experience. Alright, Skink. Who's gonna play against you? I know that we're gonna get blocked with um, it jumping over. Well, to the next round, anyways. Um, we'll just see what we can get going. Alright. Well, we can get a hit on this one too. There we go. And now we have enough to play our possum. It should be able to take out this gink or at least do damage on it. There we go. Oh, nice. Mantis. Okay. Now we can put it down. We'll just go ahead and Put it over here so that it can help attack that skink once it skedaddles my way. Or the tail. Alright, wolf time. So, we could just put it down right here. And that'll be good. Should get us... Oh, dead even. I thought we might get a little bit of excess. Apparently not. Alright, let's keep making our way to the woodcarver. Okay, I think that a mole that could attack would be pretty cool, so maybe we'll try powering it up at the first fire that we can get. Alright, what does she have for me now? Airborne or Undying? Many lives. There we go. That would be nice. 
Okay, um, I guess let's head for our um, prospector bonus round. It took me a while to recall his name. This like thing, pickaxe man. That's all what he is. I don't know, guardian, so afraid to uh, put it down and keep getting in front of the mantis, but I don't think that's going to happen, so we'll just do this and that'll get two damage on the board right away. Okay. Now we have an adder coming in, so if I put the stoat down, that could face off against the skink. Um, or I could have the mole. Fortunately, it'll die to the adder, most likely. Um, let's go ahead and put down the stoat. That should take the mantis, and the stoat should be able to take him out, I think. There we go. At least took out his tail. Okay. And... There we go. It's going to be a little bit one-sided until we can get our wolf or something. Okay. Um, could play it out and get those teeth, but we'll just keep going in the interest of time. I'm not sure how much of the teeth we're going to get anyways. Okay. Do the right side. Oh, nice. This one has ant spawner too. Hmm, maybe we will need to end up building an ant attack. Alright. Now. I really don't want to do the sigil swap event. That kind of sinks. I think it forces us to though. Um now I could put this basic one on onto the wolf. And that would be pretty cool. Have more power and everything. To be doing an attack of six instead. Maybe that was a worthy sacrifice. We'll see. Okay. Mantis could spawn us an ant right away. Start working on that stump too. Oh, I should have hit it behind that stump. That would have been a better play. Oh well. Yep, here comes an adder to mess things up for me. Alright. Maybe we will place a worker ant in front of our bullfrog. And put a possum in front of the stump. Here comes mean Mr. Adder. We'll take him out with our stoat. It's a prophecy foretold. And another adder coming down our lane. Can you believe that? So close to you. Alright, bullfrog. Alright, mega wolf. Here we go. Nice. Well, let's see. It would be kind of troll if I got this wolf and I combine it with my other one so to have a stat of six and four. It'd be really hard to stop. I think I want to go for it. Alright, sigil swap or wood carver? Um, my current totem is what? Um, I think it's ant generation, right? No, it's undying. That's what it is. Um, so I could go up there, try boosting something. Maybe the mantis. Maybe the possum. And I want to have to do a sigil swap. So I guess we'll go this route. Maybe there's something somewhat low risk I could play. Okay, let's play this mantis. And we'll just uh, do one more. Ah, 
I got burned on the second one. That's what I get for being greedy, I guess. We'll keep going since I'm a few minutes in. Okay. Or maybe I can put them all on something else. Well, it does have four hit points, though. Kind of hate to do that. What are the possibilities here? Yeah, we'll do the bullfrog. We'll put it on, say, hmm. We'll do them all so that its defense high ability adds up a little bit more. Okay, first boss battle. Fortunately, I'm down a mantis, but maybe we'll get it. All right, so Leshy is doing the angler and I mean the burrowing, I believe is that move. So this will be fun. Okay. Well, I could put the stoat on the board, or actually the mole. I think that would be a perfect start to block an airborne. And uh, we'll call it. Okay, well he started his angling. Um, let's go ahead and get another card out. And we'll put down... I guess smoke, because I'd rather give up bones than our mole that's doing a good job. Plus, that blocks some of the air lanes from attack. So let's get our wolf started. Oops, I need to have two squirrels down actually. There we go. And that should be that. Okay. Time to play a squirrel. Deny him a move. There we go. Oh boy, a bait bucket right in front of us. Um, I could take down quite a bit of it with the stoat and the wolf combo. I could just leave the squirrel there to absorb a hit. Instead, start the stoat way over here. Okay. Possum. Here we go. Wow, I think that was the easiest angler I've ever had to face. I mean, the uh, wolf was very handy. That double direction attack. Ouroboros, come on, buddy. All right, how lucky are we feeling? Let's see. I don't have a ton of sigils going on. Decent amount of health, I would say. Attack, looking decent too. Maybe we'll try the cave event. Okay. Six health. Four blood. And four power. Okay, if I got one wolf and anything else, I think I could pass. So it's looking pretty good on power. Now blood, um, similar story. And health, maybe the least. So let's just do power. There we go. All right. 
I don't know, spiky corpse maggots, and it blocks, and a stinky porcupine that also has um, sharp quills. I was trying to remember the name of that one. Okay. And a bloodhound that can find stuff and generate. I'm going to go with, I'm tempted to say corpse maggots, but I don't know. That's kind of rough. The lane blocking can sometimes kind of stink, you know? Um, I do like the bloodhound would give me another card and allow me to search for a card, so maybe I'll take that. That could come in handy. Alright, what card it is. Oh, a bi directional attack. Um, wonder if I want that more than the undying thing. The ability to bring back my already buffed up wolf though is pretty nice. This is Dam Builder. Um, maybe we can take the bi directional attack and we'll just keep the undying on there for now. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have that loose tail ability. So, how are we gonna start? Maybe we'll play the mole to uh, build up our defenses. I'd like to get Ouroboros on the map pretty quickly as well. Because we need it to die. All right, well, may have just played myself into a corner here. Um, we can get a squirrel, and I think I'll do a teeth bowl, try to keep it evened out. We need to get Ouroboros to die on something. Um, maybe just we'll do it on the wolf. And there's going to be an alpha as well coming in. So that's not good. Um, and... Sparrow. Maybe we need to go ahead and pull the wolf over. This is just looking too powerful. Okay. And Ouroboros could die on the alpha and that'd be okay, I think. I think that'll put enough damage on the board that we should be fine. Okay, now let's draw this guy, and we'll go ahead and use up this item as well, and we will get the Ouroboros to take out the Alpha. That'll reduce our uh, back surface a good bit. Okay, well, almost got it. I forgot about the tail thing being on there, so... All right, I think we're gonna win anyways. Um, could get a decent amount of excess damage if I played the wolf over the Ouroboros and the possum. So we're gonna do that. There we go. I'll use up all my items in that one match just so I could be sure to win. Um, let's see. Teeth for pelts, or we could get a duplicate of something. Um, it's really tempting to go for the duplicate route so that we could get another strong wolf combo going. Um, but I could let's see. I wonder if I need to duplicate anything really. Maybe not. Because I could have a fire and See, there's a cave trial up there. Maybe I will go this route because I need to trade in some teeth. I've been collecting them pretty well. There we go. Okay. And that'll be it. Alright. This time we're not going to get greedy. 
Alright, plus two. Who needs plus two health? I want to say the poor little possum does. Let's do it again. I got greedy. Today's been a greedy day. I think I'm just going to go for always two on this just to uh, have fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, Undying Bloodhound and a Pronghorn attacking in two directions. It's also going to move. I need to get something that will just stay in the lane and keep chipping away at it, I would say. Um... A mole could help defend. That might be a good idea to start for our opener. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Now I can deploy Bloodhound against the Pronghorn. Okay, and if I can get the wolf on the board, I believe that we would be set. Um, could also get the Ouroboros trained up for another damage. And we'll do this number here. Okay. Let's see. Could work on the porcupine a little bit with the worker ant, at least um, getting it started. Okay, um, Ouroboros could go against the porcupine, and that will advance the mole. Unfortunately, if I kill it, and it gets another attack. Um, that's okay. I think the Bloodhound might chase it, depending on the timing of things. So let's just do this, and we'll put this here so that we can maybe get that Elk Fawn taken out when the time is right. Here we go. Okay. Looks like he's not going to send anything else out. We'll uh, put a stoat down to embarrass that elk on it's going to come down. Nope, game over already. Hopefully we'll get some items soon. I'm kind of hurting for them. Alright, I think I want to go with the doggy route. Oh, an alpha. Sweet. All right, gotta sacrifice somebody. Um, Stoat is a one blood. It's one of my only one blood, so. Wonder what I get if I put in a pelt. I wanna do it, but I'm afraid of doing it. I'm gonna look it up and see um, online, cause I don't wanna waste it. One moment. Ah, looks like they can't be sacrificed. Okay. So, I'll get a bone token out of this. So it kind of makes sense, I think, to do, like, something that does not require a bone. Um, perhaps the stoat. I think I'll do it since it's un upgraded. Alright. Thanks, stoat. We appreciate your sacrifice. Okay. Raven and a sparrow. All right. How are we going to take this out? We could do the mole. It would only last, I guess, one whole turn and be purely defensive. So that's not the best. 
I'd be able to get Ouroboros on the map, however. Three, and whatever's coming in next might take us out. Oh. Um, I could just play this and save the rest for the next turn. Oh, I totally forgot that Pelt's now going to block me taking out the Raven now. Oh, that was silly. Okay. So, if they do three, and I'm getting... That'll be a total of six in two turns. I'm getting three on the board. That'll work, I think. Oh. Okay. And that'll be that. Okay. I don't think I can play... Playing the mole might not be enough. The grand fur is going to block it. Porcupine is going to come in and wreck me pretty bad though. Um, let's just do it to start. Because it does have the airborne blocking. So maybe it'll help me turn it around. Okay. And an alpha. Excellent. Fortunately, I played myself putting the wolf pelt down. That was a horrible mistake. Um, so I had to wait for something to die before I could use the alpha. Okay, Ouroboros is back and stronger than ever. So, question is, can I get myself out of this situation? Um... I could get Ouroboros on the map and take out the Sparrow column, and I don't have any items, unfortunately, so I don't think that I can pull this back. I mean, think for just a moment. Now, the Alpha does do attack, so if the mole, pow or mole is powered up to attack, that would get us plus two for the round. But I've only got one left, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, if nothing else, I powered up my Ouroboros on this one. I just had a total misplay putting the wolf pelt in front of an airborne. That was um, a lesson learned. I don't play the pelts very often, but that was a pretty silly mistake. Um, too bad I can't move the Grand Fur. That's just lame. Um... Let's see. Yeah, there's just nothing to be done here. I'll just play the alpha for the heck of it, and we will not be able to do anything else, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, I could sacrifice these, um, and that would make them on the board, but well, the alpha is undying, so that was kind of nice. And the Ouroboros is boosted. So, won't change anything, but still kind of fun to see it happen, I guess. Alright, first candle is out. I'll be stopping by our item bag on the way. Alright, Ant Queen. Let's see, I do have an ant generator. So it is tempting. Um, or I could get this. I think I'll do that since I have the sigil or the totem. Alright, I'm gonna go with this and maybe a goat for a big sacrifice and how about a squirrel? Alright, we're gonna make our mega wolf now. Yes, we are. Oh yeah, this is going to be radical, I think. If I can get that on the board, I really don't know of any fight that would be able to uh, stand me. Well, this is going to stink. Waterborne. It's going to have the um, dang 
bloodhound that's going to be waterborne. And the coyotes. Alright. What can we do? What can we do? We can take two hits from the coyote with the mole. Um, try to wait a turn and get the Ouroboros down. He's going to wreck whatever card I play, so I think we're just going to have to go something like this to start. Okay. And let's get this, and we'll put down our Ouroboros. for the alpha yet, but I'd kind of like to save him for the second phase anyways. Alright. Can use our mole for some damage blocking. And could have the alpha placed. Unfortunately, I think it's going to tip scales too quickly. Um... Ouroboros will come back though, so maybe we should do it. And the coyote's going to take out the alpha anyways, so there's that as well. There we go. That wasn't horrible. I think that there's a reasonable amount of spillage. I wonder if this gave me a stronger Ouroboros too. Yep, it did. Um, what can I do? What can I do? I can play a Coyote to at least get some damage on the board started. And we'll save up for the Ouroboros. Okay. I think that Ouroboros is going to turn things around now. There we go. Getting a pretty strong squad overall, so hoping that this will work. I'd love to beat this uh, boss totem run. Alright, now I did get a goat, so I could make a UA Yuli impossibility. Um, Strange Larva is nice to have too, though. That's kind of hard to pass up. Um, uh, Strange Larva or UA Yuli? If I could get it behind like a wall of some sort, like a blocker, that might be great. I'm going to go with Strange Larva. It's so hard to play a four blood monster. So, we'll go with this. Okay, so this is the pelt trading, and I only have the... Well, I actually have three, so maybe that doesn't make the most sense. It's either that or a cave event. I think I get a little bit more diversity here. I only get to pick one, but I get three cards this way. So, feels like a better opportunity. All right, um, Wolf Cub is feeling pretty good. Meets our sigil type too. So I think that Wolf Cub might be the one that's calling to me here. I mean, Bloodhound is nice, but we only have one blood requirement here too, so. All right, Wolf Pelt. Have an undying porcupine. <laughs> Wild bull that leads a breed parasite. That's pretty funny. Um, and then grizzly, it gets stronger. Oh, that sounds pretty wicked. Um, sprinter, like Cthulhu monster thing. And great white that is stinky. Kind of like that. These are all so good. I think I'll go with the grizzly that gets stronger. All right. Long Elk, Amalgam, and Strange Larva. Man, I don't know if I could boost a Strange Larva to start with six health power. Um, 
That would be pretty sweet. Amalgam being boosted across the board though is pretty nice. Or I mean having all the different species. Um, I don't know about this one. So if I had a possum that could just wreck things using the Long Elk's abilities, that sounds pretty cool. How many times do you get two strange larvas in a match though? Oh, let's do it. <laughs> I'm a sucker for those. Okay. Alright, now if I can boost one of these strange larvas, it'll have some attack power and be useful right off the bat. I think I want to do it. Alright, just a single boost though. So that way that they can do something on its way up to its fully evolved form. I see a fungi event appear to you, so we'll go up there. Alright, um, mole and turkey vulture. Can we get rid of the turkey vulture? We could start a strange larva in front of the mole and maybe get another mole started for damage blocking on the turkey vulture. Um, let's start with this though. And I'm thinking the turkey vultures only put too much damage on the board, so we're gonna get the mole started as well. Okay. There we go. Now the pupa still has some attack power, so that's nice. And a raven egg is incoming, so it'd be great if I could block it. But we're going to have a fully formed uh, strange creature. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now we can sick the bloodhound on some things. Um, I think I'll have it go after the raven egg first. Okay, and let's get a possum down. And the possum can block our turkey vulture and do a couple hits on it. Alright. That was a sweep. Um, so if we go to fungus, let's see what cards we have. We have strange larva that we can combine up. It'll be just about guaranteed to be able to make it through um, its growth phases. So, hey, let's take the random card. That's kind of fun. Didn't have to think twice. I enjoy the random card. There we go. Hopefully we're going to get one in six out of this. That'd be lame if it gives us zero. Okay. I was a little bit worried it might give us zero and six or something. I'm not sure I hadn't seen what happens with the variable power, you know. Okay. I wonder if it's best to just skip fire events since you get doubling at fungi, but you do lose a card as well. Alright, getting rid of the alpha seems like the biggest priority because he's going to make the tree a problem. Um, the alpha has two attack power. So, well, I do not have a good hand here. Um, I could get the bloodhound out if I use the goat as a sacrifice. Um, yeah, that's not a good start. So, kind of panicking now. Maybe we will do the bloodhound, as silly as it is. Okay, and we could get our uh, possum out here for some defense. Um, help us take out one of the raven eggs. Um, I think that would be ideal. Okay. Perfect. Almost got enough bones to start up the Cody as well.
Okay, um, we may have to set everything as airborne. That'll give us plus four on that attack. Um, because if I get the, um, wolf cub down, that might be enough damage to make it safe for us to survive. Kind of handy that I had to use my, uh, items up, but we're going to have a hard time otherwise. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I would have survived. Okay, we almost have enough to put down the Cody. Um, Cody could take out the Raven one hit, but it's just going to be placed with a Raven egg and die along the way. Um, so, if I could just survive long enough for that wolf to uh, take out the fur, that would be ideal. But, kind of thinking I might lose this round too. Um, Huh. We'll just draw from here. Grizzly. Okay. What could a grizzly do? Well, I can definitely play a coyote. And that would do something. Grizzly could sacrifice three of these guys and take out one of the lanes um, but I don't think it'll be enough because we'll get plus two and that's just too much so what can we do about this these are undying so that's good but fortunately I just don't see a way out um, even if we got rid of the wolf, we still don't have the same problem. So let's just try, let's just see how it plays out. I think I'm, I'm going to lose, unfortunately, but at least we did the best we can. Yep. Okay. I should have probably used a squirrel or something to block things a little bit. All right. I don't know if I have any other duplicates to use. Um, so, yeah, there's not. Um, I feel like this path isn't the best. We could power something up. If it's worth it. I wonder if I can play this card. That would be interesting. We'll try it, just out of curiosity. A bat and a cuckoo. Cuckoos are a pretty troll, so we'll take it just in case. All right, we can give something power. Who might that be? Let's do the mole. Okay. Now the mole can use those claws. Okay, on to another fight. Oh, great. We also, if I could get the alpha on the board quickly enough to use it with the snowy fur, but we have two raven eggs incoming. Um, could block one with a cuckoo right away. So let's go for that. And, um, how are we going to get out this other raven egg? I don't think we have a chance right now, so we're just going to have to roll with it. Okay, um, well, we could sacrifice things for um, getting an alpha on the board, perhaps, or the bloodhound. That might be a wiser choice, so we can take out the raven egg and the elk fawn when it moves down. So I think that we'll go for that. It might make sense. Okay, and let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and pull out our wolf card. Okay. And 
we will get our alpha started. Fortunately, it's going to knock out our broken egg, but it should be able to chip away at that raven. Um, this is putting enough damage on the board. I think it'll make a good difference. Okay. Bloodhound's going to get rid of the elk fawn, and we can get our wolf on the board soon. We'll just put, we could put a worker ant there. Um, however, if I had the wolf on the board instead, that'd be a lot more power. So I think I'll sacrifice out the um, alpha. And we will put down our wolf. And that should be enough to make us pretty happy, I think. Okay, um, let's go this route. Oh, another ant. Okay, that's fun. Could get two ants on the board. Um, and that would be a decent amount of power, but we've already got three with alpha, so I think that we're going to just about wrap it up with what we have here. Okay. Good, good. Maybe I'll get a duplicate here and can make us another duplicate. Okay, I don't think I have any of those three. Spoke too soon. Um, let's do the raven. Why not? Nothing to use. Okay. Um, I don't know how much it matters, but let's just go with um, the cuckoo just in case we can do some trolling with it. Woodcarver or sigil? Um, I think I'm happy with my wood carving. And for sigil. Let's see. Putting the alpha's ability on something cheaper would be pretty sweet. Or putting it like on the Ouroboros so that once it's down, it's a really big help. That could be pretty crazy. I think that that's what I wanted to do. It might be a little bit risky, but that would just be an amazing power to have on it. Alright, Alpha. And you are going to go with your powers. Something with longevity. Uh, Strange Larva is pretty great too. It only costs one. I think I'll do that instead. It's going to get really strong being the Mothman, so. And it already has more base defense than the Ouroboros currently does, so. Here we go. Alright, trapper time. I think usually it might be maybe second hardest next to the Angler, so. We'll just have to see how this goes. I always hate doing this one. Um, Cuckoo could buy us a little bit of time by blocking the strange frog. However, we're going to have two traps that are attacking things. Um, but I think this for an opener will get it started. And I don't have any items, so this is going to be risky. Wish I could fast save and fast reload. Okay. Yeah, this is looking rough already. Um, I don't have anything to help me, so they're going to do two more damage and I'll do one. So they're going to move one closer here. Okay. And I wish I could just... Unfortunately, if I play the Grizzly, it's just going to be a problem. I need to, um, because of the trap stuff, I need to play something cheap so I can clear out 
like one of these strange frogs or something. And buy myself some breathing space. Meanwhile, he's stacking everything up. Let's do this. Alright, cuckoo. I mean, it's something, right? So, I could sacrifice it to a leaving trap. He's going to come right after me. Um, Grizzly, if I played it against here, it would die. However, I might be able to get a cuckoo down in that area instead. Let's see, I've already lost this. No, if I can prevent too much damage, it might be okay. So, could, what else? I only got two bones. That's not enough. Hmm. I guess I will just play the grizzly. As much as I don't want to. I assume it doesn't do excess damage to also hit the bullfrog. So, either way, I need to get rid of um, the strange frog. Well, actually, I could put it here and attack that lane. It's not going to put any points on the board. That's the problem. Well, hmm. it's a sacrifice here. Oh, I should have sacrificed that one. That would have blocked both of them. Darn it. That was silly. Okay. Okay. Good part is I definitely have enough that I can um, get something going against these two. We'll break even on this turn at least. Having the spiny attack is not good. I think we're going to have to go with this lane because I don't want to unleash the wolf. Um, that'll be a major problem. I can put the skink down so that um, we get something there. And I think it might try to leave its tail when the sharp quills go off, hopefully. Oh, it didn't. Interesting. Okay, well, now I think technically I can just draw cards until the cuckoo fixes things up. Um, the skink will leave a tail behind when the wolf comes for it. Or not. That's not good. Oh, that's it. That's the end of it. I thought the skink would do that. Oh man. I had such a good run too. I wish I could have backed that up. Ah. If only there was a cheat code. It's on the last boss before the final one, too. Um, another lesson learned. That's another trick it can get you is um, the skink tail does not deploy on the trap. I thought for sure it would, but oh well. Say la vie, I suppose. Thanks for watching. This has been S tier rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S tier rank. I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.